Hello. Welcome to Martin Jardin Quan. I'm Erica and I am very excited. I got my green stock. I did a opening or unboxing video uh, the other day and I had to redo it because I didn't have the orientation of my camera correct. Um, so, and it was really hot. So my enthusiasm kind of um, fizzled a little bit, um, but I am putting it together today and I am going to show you guys my experience. It looks like it's pretty easy. Um, I have the, the instructions here. Uh, as we all know, you must always read the instructions and always read them well in the most delicious way. <laughs> bonus points to who knows what that's a reference to. Um, but anyway, the instructions are super easy. Um, so let's see if it turns out that it will be like that. Um, the other thing that I want to do with this video, my goal is to do a progression of, uh, of them, do several of them so that you can see how well they work and uh, things like that. There are a lot of experienced gardeners that I've seen uh, have these um, particular towers, growing towers, and um, you know they they know what they're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, I'm trying to figure all of that out. So welcome to the journey with me. All right, so we have the directions. And I went ahead and spread out all five of the um, tiers here. They're pretty tall. They say they hold one cubic feet of soil. Um, and over here I have my, I have five cubic feet um, of Espoma container soil. Um, so we'll see if it's accurate that it'll fit in there, hopefully, because that's all I have is exactly uh, five cubic feet. And then I'll have to go and get more if it, if it turns out that I need more. No big deal, but we'll see. And then I have my mover that I need to put together also before I get all of this stuff going. Um, and then there's the uh, draining, or excuse me, the reservoir that you add the water and your fertilizer to. Um, I also wanted to show you my little friends here. These are the seeds that I started in one of the previous videos in the little burpee seed trays. Um, they, I'm not sure how long they've been on there. I didn't write the date on them, but maybe I can put it on the bottom of the screen there. I haven't talked to you guys about this, but it's very important to harden off your, um, your seedlings hardening off your seedlings it, you'll probably hear that term thrown around quite a bit and what that is is you bring your seedlings out when they when they get pretty tall like that I mean you want what they call the true leaf and let's see if I can get that on there so in my best assumption and you know finding out what a true leaf is it would be like see this so these, these little guys look like the little tiny seedling uh, leaf. And then this is what I would consider a true leaf. And then, you know, you can kind of go up to these. It's kind of hard to tell on the cabbages for me though. I mean, I feel like this little guy would be a true leaf, the little tiny guys. And then all these other ones, I mean, they're looking, looking like what they're supposed to be. The dill is starting to size up pretty, pretty well. Um, Peppercress, I've never grown it before, so I'm not quite sure, but the cilantro definitely looks like it's supposed to be. And then these, these stay pretty small and they already smell like uh, basil pretty strongly. But, and then the beets, they're starting to get good. You wanna bring your seedlings outside or where they're going to be and um, get them conditioned for the weather or the elements. Um, slowly so they say a lot of times people will do it an hour a day uh, and they'll do it at you know in the springtime they do it at the warmest times of the day or kind of like 
the milder times. Uh, in the fall, I mean, you still have to do it because you're going to be putting them outside and leaving them there. So, <laughs> poor little guys. Um, so, I'm going to start doing it whenever I come out and do different tasks and things like that here and there. I do have them on what we're calling wind therapy inside, but they're being conditioned for, you know, 72, 73, or 4 degrees temperatures in there. Um, but they do have the wind blowing on them here and there to kind of roughen them up and toughen them up, their little leaves and everything. So that's what hardening off is. So back to the green stalk. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get started uh, building the, the green stock. I have my mover base and it does say to um, use a firm pressure to pop the wheels into place. So, and you alternate locking and non-locking um, for each uh, little spot here. And then you can add the uh, drain tube uh, if desired, which I will probably go ahead and do that just in case. I'm going to have it up here on my porch and then I'm going to try to it's kind of precarious, but I'm gonna like roll it up and down uh, here and there as I can. Um, but for the most part, it'll probably stay underneath the porch, uh, especially whenever the frost comes, because I'm wanting to protect it a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after I uh, do that, I have my time lapse going so you can see it. Hopefully everything will go off without a hitch. Um, so I will do that and then I will start filling up each of these tiers. Uh, with soil and it does say it takes 0.75 of a cubic foot of soil. They want you to fill it to the top and then you put these um, gray discs on there and what that does is it allows for the water to flow. You can kind of see these little holes uh, on there. Um, so that's where the you know it'll, the water will flow down after you fill it up with the top reservoir. Um, so it's supposed to be evenly water every tier. So that's uh, what we've got going on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started and then I will be back once I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, first, get it started. This is the soil again that I'm using. It's the same that I used the other day, or I'm sorry, no, it is not the same. This is what I normally use uh, for what I've been using for my potted plants um, because the my local nursery said recommended it because it's loose and fluffy and it has enough lots of nutrients in it uh, to give the plants what they need. Now I will get started. I did want to point out this is what the lock unlock non-locking uh, caster looks like and then this is the locking see it has the little lock on there. Somebody needs to see what they look like. Alright, I also wanted to show you it came with this hose that you can put on there to drain it, and then it also came with this plug. You can see here this little plug thing. Um, and it says not to leave it on there longer than a week if you have it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain hole on there or drain hose on there because whenever I put the soil in there, I'm going to spray it down, give it a good spray down with the watering hose. Remember when I said you gotta read the instructions and always read them well? This is an original green stalk, not the green stalk leaf. If I was to have the green stalk leaf, I would only need uh, three quarters of a cubic foot. But because it is the original one, I need a, an entire cubic foot of soil. And then whenever I'm stacking them, I'm placing this disc on the top here of each level. And then this, these little grooves here, they kind of fit into place here. So I'm putting it down here and then just making sure that they lock in place. That's the key. Through doing this, I realized that I needed to fill the soil up first and then put it on there. I was hoping to avoid that because just like lifting up. <laughs> The soil high is going to be kind of a task, but that's okay. We're, gonna, we're not going to worry about it. The other thing is, I wanted to show you the bottom of this. There are holes in this to uh, let the soil drain out well. So that's another thing it's got going for it. So I've got one more tier to 
uh, two more tiers to put on there. One, that one did on there. Oh, there's a little spider crawling out of that one. Woo. All right, let's get to it. Okay, we got it all built up. I will do a after video here in a second, or actually after a shot. Um, but I'm gonna put the reservoir on top. Um, I can show you guys. Let's see how my little focus here. So there are lines on each. Uh, each little corner here that shows, it says water only, but I know that you can put fertilizer in there also. And I'm not gonna put fertilizer in there today because um, I'm not, uh, the soil is really good. So I think that it'll be okay uh, for, for about a week or so. Um, but there are like little levels here and Okay, I was hoping it said what the different level lines were on that, uh, the inside of the reservoir, but it just says to uh, fill the top water reservoir until water comes out the bottom. And then it kind of talks about um, the benefits of having it, like how the water drips uh, into each pocket and then other plants are, you know, either overwatered uh, or underwatered and rarely are they perfectly watered, I guess. Um, but yeah. All right, so we're putting the last, or the uh, water reservoir on there. It looks like it has little uh, lips that need to um, fit perfectly um, on each little tier. So I may need to have both of my hands going here at once. So I will put you down for a minute. 